Well, we had a first ever take two on Troy Talks A Lot. Scene one, take two, 10 do's on a first date. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Troy Talks A Lot, where I talk a lot of nonsense, but for whatever reason, you guys love to listen, and I appreciate every single one of you sexy mother... Hi, mom and dad. We're gonna get straight into it, just because I filmed like a 10, 15 minute full intro, and um, my camera just shut out on me. I don't know why, but thank you, camera. I love you too. So. Here we go. Here's the thing about dating in LA, ready? Everyone always says, oh, you can't find love in LA. You know, people are fake, they're superficial, they're only in it for the money or the fame. I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I just think there's good people in this world. But I'd say over the past month and a half, I've asked out about seven to eight girls. They all agreed to go out. Take a wild guess as to how many of them went out with me. I'll wait. Do -do 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 -do. If you guessed zero, then you are absolutely correct. Give yourself a round of applause. I love my life. I don't really know what to say. Such a shame. Um, I feel like I'm a pretty good guy. I'm cool. I'm easy to get along with. Uh, you could definitely do like your homework and I guess look me up on social to kind of get a better understanding of like who I am. So you don't think I'm like a creep or a serial killer or whatever it is people may think people are for whatever reason people just don't like going out i guess they'd rather sit at home and chill with their dog but hey i don't know maybe they just think i'm not it. i don't know i just don't know anyways let's just get straight into it i wish i could sit here and just go 10 do's on a first date that would tie in perfectly with like my date but you know troy struck out uh one too many times and well here we are dateless and giving you guys advice. I have no idea why you're even listening to this advice because I haven't been on a date in God knows how long. All right, here we go. 10 do's on a first date. <sighs> if one of the girls that I asked out is watching this, um, these are the 10 do's that I was going to do, presumably on our first date, but I just never got a chance to. So your loss. A lot of this is mainly geared towards the men, but also women, I want you to listen up because I don't want that to go unannounced, unappreciated. Which by the way, if you do have a glass of wine, a rosé, a chardonnay, a pinot noir, fill that bad boy to the top, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's get into it. First one on my list. Gentlemen, plan the date. Plan the date. You pick a day, you pick a time, you pick a spot, whether it's a restaurant or an event, depending on what you're doing, and make the reservation. Set the reservation so you guys had to have a concrete plan written in stone for a date you're going to go on. It's not that hard to go on an open table, find a reservation for two, Thursday at 9 o'clock, set it and be like, cool, I got us a reservation. I'll come pick you up at 8.30. Do not say, hey, do you want to go on a date? She says yes and say, all right, cool, where do you want to go? What the fuck? If you really need to ask or if you really are nervous and don't know where to take her, give her a list of like three different spots and be like, hey, take your pick. I just want to be the first to say that a date is not asking her to come over and hang out, especially if it's after the hours of 12 a.m. That's not a date, sir. That is a hookup. Unless you both have already planned, hey, this is a, a mutual understanding, a nice transaction between the two. You guys wanna have some fun? By all means, you guys have a great time. But I'm just saying, if you really like this girl and you're asking her to come over on hang out, go fuck yourself. Number two, confirm the date the day of. Let's say that it was a Monday that you guys had planned a date, right? And you set it up for a Thursday night. Please text her either the Wednesday before or the Thursday morning and text her and just be like, hey, can't wait to see you tonight. It doesn't even have to be like a, hey, are we still on? It could just be like a follow-up being like, hey, can't wait to see you tonight. I'm so excited. Just a little something to know that you guys are both on the same page and you know we're still both committed to this date, which is usually where my dates fell apart. They would just always make some excuse. Confirm the date. Okay, confirm the date. Also, pick her up. I think that's a class act. If she isn't comfortable with you picking her up, brownie points if you offer to send her like a car, like a black Escalade picks her up for dinner. Ladies, I think that's hot. I would so much rather pick you up so that we can like vibe in the car on the way to dinner. But I guess if you're not comfortable with that, brownie points on the man if he sends you a car. That's super hot. Number three, take her to dinner. I know people are like, oh, I kind of like activities to break the ice. I think you should have already broke the ice on like a FaceTime or like a call like 
several times before the actual date. Activities are fun. I'm not saying don't do an activity. You have to get to know the person, right? And what better way to get to know each other than by sitting down face to face with a glass of wine, guard down, good food, good vibe, great aesthetic, and just talking for hours. You really know if they like you or you like them. If you guys have sat there for like two, two and a half hours and time just seemed like it flew by. Just take her to dinner. I think it's the best way to get to know someone. Yeah, sure, it's like cliche, but it's just like, it's so textbook. If you have the means to do it, take her to a cool spot. I'm a huge fan of just like good vibes even over the food obviously like the food has to be decent but i would so much rather take her to like a really cool vibey aesthetically pleasing spot and the food being like okay as opposed to like a really bomb spot of like great food but like the vibe just isn't like that cool it just sets the tone of the date number four. Oh, i like this one don't let her touch a door handle that's it i think that's pretty simple don't let her touch the car door handle don't let her touch the the restaurant door handle if you're walking in the restaurant Open the door, a little hand on the back goes a long way. And um, if you can, if there's chairs at the tables, pull her chair out for her. She'd love it. Like what, it takes you two seconds to just go like that? That's so cute. You're already setting yourself up for success. Number five, be nice to the staff. Whether it's a host, whether it's the waiter or waitress, whether it's the cook, I don't even know why the cook would come out, but please be fucking nice to the staff. You could really tell a lot about a person depending on how you treat people that are waiting on you. If you're just a jerk to someone who comes up and they're like, hey, how are you guys today? Like, what can I get you? And you're like, just not cool or nice. Ew, that is so classless, I think. Remember like Randy Jackson on American Idol in like 2010? That's a no for me, dog. Just be nice. It costs zero dollars to be nice. Number six, listen. It's not that hard to do. Ask questions, be sincere, be genuine with what you're asking and wanting to know. I feel like a lot of guys go on dates and just talk about themselves too much. There needs to be a nice balance between the two, don't get me wrong, but ask questions, just let them talk. They will emotionally just like have a better connection with you because they're like, wow, this person knows so much about me. Like they were so easy to talk to because they just listened. Not a lot of people listen. Seems so easy to do, but for some reason, so many guys get it wrong. I'm not saying don't say anything about yourself. I'm not saying if she's like, oh, so where are you from? You're not like, oh, well, no, we're going to talk about you. We're not saying that. I'm just saying like, I think on a date, she should do 70% of the talking. You should do 30. Before you know it, you guys will be two and a half hours into dinner and she'll be like, wow, I feel like you know everything about me. I think that's a win in my book. Oh, this is a good one. This is a really good one. Seven. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seatbelts because this one could get a little controversial. Guys, if you're taking her out on a date, pay the fucking bill. Pay the bill. You pay it. We're not splitting it. We're paying it in full. If you don't have the means to take her out on a very expensive dinner, which you do not need to do, by the way, I'm not saying you need to, do something easy. Take her to the beach with a two buck chuck from Trader Joe's and maybe like a couple crackers, you know? Take her on a picnic, make a sandwich. It probably costs five bucks to do. You pick her up and you take her to the picnic and you hang out and do the cute little blanket with a little basket and set it all up. Maybe bring like a speaker and just vibe out. But regardless, if you're taking her out on a first date, pay the fucking bill. Brownie points, if you can do it inconspicuously. Oh, I, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. Go to the bathroom and like hand your card to the waiter. Usually they know what's going on. You are not splitting the bill, especially when you offered to take a girl out on a first date. That's just not gonna happen. You're taking her out on the date. She's not taking you out. If that guy agrees to split the bill, that is the first and last time you're going out with him. Maybe a couple dates on down the road. If she wants to take you out somewhere cool that she's like, oh, I love this spot. But on a first date, no. Even second or third date, I still say no. But especially on a first date, you're paying the bill. Pay the fucking bill. Do it discreetly. It's honestly way cooler so you're not like out here like flashing your money being like, oh yeah, I've got a fucking metal Amex card. Like, cool dude, like so does half of LA. Babe, again, if that guy agrees to split it, uh-uh. That is the first and last time. You split it, okay? You don't complain. And you're out. You're not responding to that man's fucking text ever again, okay? I'm holding you to that. Sorry for pointing. To piggyback off that, ladies, it goes a long way if you offer. Whether it's split in the bill or you're like, oh, no, I got it, I got it. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not with me. Again, I will never take it in a million years. But I just think it's a really class act. All right, here we go. Number eight. How do we feel about kissing on the first date? <sighs> Kiss on the first date. Um... All because homeboy spent $500 on a really nice dinner does not mean that you need to kiss him. If you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. 
Don't let anybody force you into something that you don't want to do. The flip side of that, if you're feeling it and you want to, by all means, have at it. Have a great time. Do what you got to do. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who to kiss and sleep with. Again, kiss on the first date, totally cool, totally acceptable. But babe, do not feel obligated. If you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable enough, all because this guy spent X amount of dollars on a dinner. There's no obligation. There is no rule in the rule book saying that you need to. But then again, there is no rule in the rule book that says you don't not need to. That didn't make any sense. Number nine, this is after the date. Date wraps up, everything was great, you had a lot of fun. Offer to drive her home. I think it's cute and uh, you get to spend a little bit more time with her and get to know her along the way. If she's not comfortable with that, then you know, brownie points to Uber her home or she'll probably wanna Uber herself. Uh, but if she does allow you to drive her home, get out of the car, open her car door. If you really wanna be a gentleman, walk her up to the door. Walk her up to her door. Give her a little hug if you want another little smooch. Do what you gotta do. Again, if she's cool with it, wish her a good night and, and get back in the car. Don't leave the house until she closes her front door and you know she's safe. Number nine or 10. What are we on? 10, 10, 10, 10. We're down to the last one. <clears throat> this might be an unpopular opinion, but the text after the date. I think most guys will text. I like to wait to see if the girl texts me for them to be like, hey, like, thank you so much for tonight. I had such a great time, which then opens it up for me to be like, oh my God, like, no, thank you so much for coming out. I had so much fun. Like, we should definitely do it again sometime. If she doesn't text you after, I don't know. I just kind of get bummed. It's like you, you put in a lot of work, you put in a lot of effort, and I just like to see how much she appreciated the date. It could be two or three sentences. It takes not even 60 seconds to formulate that. Thank you so much again. I had such a great time. Let's do it again sometime. You know, and then allows the guy to be like, oh my God, I had such a good time. Like, let's let's definitely do it again soon. And then from there, you could kind of catch the vibe. But I love a good follow-up text, especially after you put in a lot of time and effort um, for, for the date, just to know that they appreciated like what you did for them. Um, I think it's cute. I think it goes a long way. It really takes no effort to do. And um, it's classy. So just to reiterate, guys, number one, plan the date, okay? Pick the time, pick the day, pick the location, set the reservation. Number two, Confirm the day of or the day before. Just, you know, being like, hey, can't wait for tonight. Make sure everything's good and you guys are still on. Number three, I'm a big fan of dinner dates. Take her out to dinner. If you don't want to do a dinner, you don't have to. I just enjoy them. If you want to take her to mini golf, enjoy yourself. If you guys want to go to the beach, enjoy yourself. You know, get creative. That's not, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I just, I'm a big fan of dinner. Four, don't let her touch a door. You know, car door, restaurant door. Number five, listen. Be genuinely interested in the conversation you're having simple six be nice to the staff okay whether you're at a restaurant or again at you know at mini golf or something just be nice to the people that are helping you guys out seven pay the bill just pay the fucking bill eight kiss on the first date if you want to but again ladies do not feel obligated to kiss all because they took you out on first date it's completely up to you um nine gentlemen offer to drive her home most of the time they say, yeah, I'd love that. Take her home. Make sure she gets home safely. If she's not into it, maybe offer to Uber her home. I think that's just brownie points. 10. Ladies, please just text them after the day and just show your appreciation. Just be like, hey, thank you so much. I had such a good time. It really does go a long way and it makes us smile at the end of the day. You know, we're, going, we're probably laying in bed just like waiting for your text. And as soon as we get your text, we're just like... Those are my 10. I hope by now you guys have probably slammed your wine or your shots or your beer or whatever you're having tonight. Like, comment, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. I promise I will respond to every single one. My email will be attached down below in the bio. So just shoot me an email with any topics you guys kind of want me to touch on and I'll answer it in the next video. Oh shoot, my laptop's about to die. I love you so much. Thanks for watching and see.